My husband Chris is passionate about everything that he does and when he finds something that he really enjoys, he puts his whole self behind it. Just started out in the kitchen with a stock pot and now our whole garage is a brewery. <laughs> and then more so, he's building his dream. I started brewing beer when I was in college, and my roommates and I were trying to figure out how we could have beer in college, and we decided, well, hey, uh, all it is is grains and hops and yeast and water. Let's, let's go to the local store and, and purchase those things. So we did, and we made a few batches that were horrendously terrible, but uh, we, we kept going, and we kept uh, learning and improving uh, our, our skill set from there. And so I've been brewing for the past 15 years. My name is Chris Dietrich, and I'm, I've been living in Salt Lake City the last 13 years. And we're here in my garage, brewing a delicious batch of Rye IPA. Uh, one thing I love about brewing my own beer is the, the creativity of, of making whatever I want. Uh, any, any style, any flavors, any, um, anything, any, anything you can think of, uh, you, you can brew it. Some of my favorite styles to make are, are, are hoppy beers. I, I love hops. I love the, the flavor and aroma that they can bring to any style of beer. I spent the last 13 years as a photographer at the Tribune and it was a great experience and everything I'd wanted ever since high school. Uh, to be, be a photographer at a, at a community newspaper. But along the way, I, I took up brewing and slowly it's been taking over. Uh, there, there are a lot of things that, that go into making the beer, but you know, it's all controlled by you. So you can, as long as you're aware of all these parameters and, and different things that are going in as you're brewing, you can, you can make adjustments at various steps of the process to make sure the final outcome of the beer is, is the same every single time. That's the joy of home brewing though. You, you can make a different batch every single time. It doesn't have to be the same. You're not selling the beer. You, you don't have expectations from a buying consumer that it needs to be exactly the same every single time. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> like It was a jump to go off. And, Kind of sad in a way to leave a really good career behind. So like he's an amazing photographer, but I know that he'll he'll put the same passion and and drive toward the brewery that he has to photojournalism for the past 15 years. And it's awesome for me to see his dream kind of coming through and all of the work that he's put behind it. Um, and I just I know that he'll be successful, um, and it's it's exciting. Dreams can change and evolve. And for the last 13 years, I was doing exactly what I dreamt about ever since high school. But as time went on and, and those dreams changed and, and did evolve, my current dream is to open a brewery and be the brewer there. And as scary as, as it is to leave behind a profession that I've only known since I was in high school, sometimes you gotta follow your dreams and do what you love and right now, brewing beer is what I love. <laughs>